Hello, good day. Welcome to Multinet Design. In this tutorial, we are going to conclude the roofing system on this project. Yeah. So, it depends upon the design pattern that we are flowing with. But in this this particular one, we are going to do use e proof where everything is going to take shape according to the formation of the plan so let's start let's go to level two level two will be our reference base there is no cantilever everything is straight up so what we do is that we start by creating roof please kindly subscribe to this channel and like at the same time comments whatsoever you dislike so that we'll be able to work and uh, up in on improvements so you click on the roof and start the roof prints click on line i usually make use of line because of the precision out of it so you can decide to off your thick line then at the same time toggle off the shadow so that you know where the the lines are being placed so on the half sets make sure you put 600 offset this surface the roof of the roof the distance above from the wall so you click you follow every aspect where there is wall you click you follow and that is how you create So you trim now. Make sure you trim everything. Once so you've done that, put everything at the good. So since everyone is joining together, I remember if there is no close loop upon these thick lines the roof will not be created so just click if it creates yes this is a real pattern of the roof that has been created so say no do not attach it to the to the wall so as you've done that what you need to do is to go to elevation in your elevation go to south elevation you see that it enters into the building if you are lucky enough, it will be a book for what just do one tonight. Copy like this from level or move. I mean, sorry, move to another level. So, this one has already specified the height of the, the elevations for you. So, if the height is okay for you for the roof you allow it so if it's not okay i want to adjust it here by changing the slope of the angle i want to use 40 degree i want it to be taller and to be looking at it from far 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 above so that is this for that so when you go to any another elevation you see the roof and it hides in appreciative way so extend this and click and drag all this up you do the same thing for the west toggle on the rope click extend it up as well so in the heat click extend it up as well good so the elevation aspect is being bringing us little after the order so now the foundation aspect is that this building look like it's flowing upon the foundation what we're we going to do go to level one when you're level one pick a wall and say select all instance in this wall so pick up everything so on the selecting all the and everything go to as in the modifying the wall click on copy to clipboard as you do that go to foundation and go to paste 
and click on paste to current view as we done that it has not finished so here has been selected as the thing is still in the blue mode what you need to do is to adjust this and say the distance of the the, the height of the foundation is one and minus 1000 so include thickness of the slab which is 200 so minus 200 from 1000 will give, give us 800 so type 800 as the height of this particular wall you have created so delete all instance as you said good so all the windows that are not are irrelevant have been deleted so select all instance in this view and say delete so all the doors that are irrelevant have been deleted delete all the all the doors that are not relevant so here is a modify and trim good so as you've done this, you have already created what is still necessary to do. So any other thing you are seeing here, and just and click delete on this. So when you go to foundation or elevation, you are going to see the particular the buildings are not the more you know. So they have a we have wall below the foundation level. So that is how you create that aspect. So now when you go to your site plan you see the design of the roof so one thing about the design particularly is the falling of the slope that need to be adjusted so try as much as possible watch this video to the end subscribe to our channel as you are progressing in everyday lecture that we are bringing to you our aim is to make you a refit expert in as much as we can so here now you click on this roof and say edit profile edit type on your edit type, edit the structure and this place you say edit it on the material to edit it. On the material you go to graphics appearance. On the graphics appearance on the surface because you want to change the surface alone. So for on the surface and you click on model. As you click on model you can create your whole fatica or can use the existing fatica. So let me let us create our own fatica. Call it roof. Fatica. So at this at this point we do this one to something like 70 and change the height to 90 degree so that it will be definitely vertical. You can change the size as well if it's too big for you. Let's probably use 60 and you see you don't use that just parallel line you are using, don't use cross cross ash. So you click OK, click OK, click OK and okay so when you look at it now you see that the roof falls in different parts different arrow so that is the point of what you do and as you have done this one you need to do what create the roof what roof roof uh, rich cap and uh, maybe gutter so what you need to do here is to adjust and go to elevation any elevation you can go to select this and say copy on one another so copy here click on this and copy to the top of it so when you click into the top of it you want to cut it physically so go to the side plan back again as you are in side plan what you do is that for you to be avoiding this and not getting it that you can decide to do what click side plan and duplicate it you say click and duplicate the few duplicate with details with the we bring everything to bear everything that is model and in a what's it called in a drafting so you can just duplicate so let us work on duplicate of this type so you will rename this rename as roof so anytime you are working you don't need to be going to site here you know that you are using roof to design what is in the roof so what we do here is that we want to cut all this all the opening out and give ourselves a rich cap so you click on architecture and go to physical open you click on physical open and select the above top roof 
to take you to sketch mode where you'll be able to do that so what i used to do is to use peak line to do my work so from the offset offset the distance like say 80 millimeter in a distance from the one half of the roof space so you do the same thing here remember we are doing the ridge cap not gutter so the uh, the vertical edge is what is important so you do this and you do this so you start falling it below one after the other keep watching the video don't feel bored this is a critical stage that you learn one thing or the other you are not going to fast forward anything here you are going to watch everything as you are doing it it's not a magic tutorial so you do that by clicking by clicking on the edges of the roof so great So as you have done that, and you look around, I see that you have already picked all the edges. So what you need to do now is to start pasting, come to set, to start pasting outside of the roof boundary. So the surroundings, it's at a distance, you do that around. You might be confused when we want to do it if you say finish how are you going to come not that this thing will not be giving us a uh, constrained level is that we pay you just need to pay attention to details by following all the rules and regulation everywhere that is edges are high you work on them straight up good We follow through you create attention on this all right make sure that all these openings all this loop are joint loop there is no one intercept intersecting one and one and uh, each other. They all have a close loop or two. So that's what we are dedicating our time to do here. Follow everything one after the other. So you do the same thing around and touch every part. So look at the edges of every corner and let them off what it close loop all around so remember we are cutting vertical work all this space that are within the roof are be, be cut off why those one that have open size center are going to be retained so by the time you work on it and say click finish the edit mode it tells you that there is some error so you can click on show so that it will take you there and you work on that place precisely so continue so this is the place that errors are being seen so i think that's that for that so we create that and this is the this is how you create your beach cap so when you go to elevation now you see that you have the double and everything is in place so that is how you do your your rich cap in Revit so that is the roof system that we have created here go to roof and you see that the roof has been calculated so that is the roof function for you and that is the way creates a roof aspect so in this place now you change your 
you change your graphics as well because you need your presentation you want to cast a little bit on your shadow on the shadow that makes your roof look tight so the same thing here you do look here see lighting section from the light section change it to 167 and here you change it to 15 apply it first see what you've done is it okay by you if it's not okay by you increase it a bit to something like 30 20 and 55 i mean yes 57 say apply so look at this in the, at the edge so in this piece what you do is that you say foundation you get just a level two and this that place is going to be cut off at the same time you can work on so many design relativity this one is a 20 not two apply okay and you see this that the reflection are coming on the roof aspect so when you do that you go to this space again and say 175 degree apply can you see so you can almost go to 179 degree apply good so here you can use a 15 degree apply it so you are reducing it 10 degree apply it so you can do more by changing the degree of what of all the elevations and design you have done so you can decide to say okay just leave it that way the reason is you having this below is because the level are inadequate so so follow the step like this and create more so that is how you create your roof pattern and design so follow us in the tutorial like and comment so see us in the next series